Hey, I'm Thor. Today we're going to learn some rock beat variations. This lesson assumes that you've learned and are somewhat comfortable with the basic rock beat, so if you're not... at least that comfortable with the basic rock beat, then you should probably go back to the first lesson. Um, so starting with your basic rock beat, and we're going to add in an extra kick drum. And we're going to add it on the end of three. So one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And, and putting the snare drum back into the beat, it's going to sound like this. This is maybe one of the most iconic beats in all of rock and roll. You've probably heard it with clams like this. Uh, and in lots of different songs, just as the basic with the hi-hat. So to learn it, um, if you're not playing it by ear already, uh, start out on your hi-hat. kick drum on the one and the three and like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and cycle that through a few times, get comfortable with that. And then all you have to do is add the snare drum back into the beat on two and four. So Once you're a little bit comfortable with that, you'll start to speed it up and it'll sound more like this. The next variation, um, I'm going to add two extra kick drums to the beat and uh, it's going to sound like this. Same as with the first variation, you're going to start out with the hi-hat. So your one and two and three and four and. You're going to add kick drums on the one and, and then the and of two and three. So like this. One and two. cycle that through a few times, get comfortable with that, and then you're going to add in the snare drum back on two and four. So one and two and three and and one and two and three and You can practice that a bit and then speed it up. Good. Hopefully you're feeling pretty comfortable with those two variations. A uh, third one you can try here. Uh, it's kind of a Latin-influenced uh, repeating kick drum pattern. Um, I'll just play it. Uh, start up with your hi-hat. One and two and three and four and you're going to add in your kick drum. One and two and three and four. And. So when you just play from the one to the four, it doesn't sound like anything special. It's as you come back to the start of the bar that it's going to start sounding like a loop. So like this. One and two. Once 
once you practice the kick and the hi-hat, start to add your snare on two and four, and just loop it through a few times. So I'll speed up a bit as I go here. And then the last variation I wanted to look at today, um, we're just going to take out the kick drum that we normally put on three of the basic rock beat, and we're going to move it over to the and. So start with your hi-hat, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. It's going to feel funny at first. You're, you're used to putting that kick drum on three, and when you skip it, you almost feel like you missed a step. Um, practice it through a little bit, and then once you add in the snare drum, it's going to make more sense. It's going to sound like this. So for each of these variations, um, start with your hi-hat, make sure you're counting one and two and three and four and, add your kick drum, then get your snare in there on two and four, cycle it through slowly. Um, a tendency for beginners is to accidentally speed up the beat until they're out of control. Um, try and uh, rein yourself in a bit. And um, yeah, just be patient with it. Uh, it's a big jump to go from a basic rock beat to trying to play four rock beat variations. So um, just be patient, work through it, and uh, hopefully you have a great time.